watching this video for your sun, moon, rising sign, or Venus sign, um, but the moon's going to resonate the best for you most likely, so if you don't know your moon sign, check in the description box below and there's a link there that'll help you figure out what that is. You can also be watching this if your partner or ex-partner is of this sign, and a good idea is that sometimes when these videos come out right away, they're gonna resonate right away and sometimes they're not. So yes, a personal reading is going to give you the most accurate information, but also sometimes these energies don't click with us because these things haven't happened yet. They're going to happen mid-November or they're gonna happen at the end of November. So keep that in mind too. You could bookmark it, come back to it, or you could just say fuck it all, I don't like this bitch. That's your prerogative. Um, but let's just get started with your video. Hi Virgo, thanks for watching this video. So let's see what we have. Singles, generally what's up in November with your situation. Coming to the end of a cycle, but the problem with that is that you don't necessarily feel enthused to get into the new one, right? When one door closes, we go through a new one, but you're not like on your horse of enthusiasm. You're just like still recovering. So maybe you're recently single, or maybe you're um, stopping one way of life. Circumstances that have been affecting you have been ending, but you don't yet have that momentum to really push yourself forward to find... Um, new love and stuff. So this is a period of stagnation for the majority of Virgos. Um, but what is it that you actually want in the month of November? And you're like having a good time, you know, feeling good and feeling strong in these decisions because this change is really important. And a lot of you are kind of coming to terms with it and understanding that like, one door did have to close. This is that card saying that. So you can walk through a new better one. So whatever kind of things that you've gone through has indeed made you stronger. And so now you're like, okay, I just got to chill before things get intense again. Understandable. Um, what is it that you need in regards to love in the month of November, Virgo? And they're like, well... <laughs> Maybe um, a little bit of connection isn't going to hurt you. You don't necessarily need so much alone time because after some time, it's going to make you start to feel less than confident about yourself and your ability to find love, that sort of a thing. So they're like, rest, but you know, not for the entire four weeks. Maybe like four days after you're like totally done with something, okay? And it doesn't necessarily have to be an old relationship. Maybe it's an old way that you used to think about things because swords are very mental. Um, maybe it's like, okay, I'm finally feeling good about, you know, being single now. And I have felt good about being single for four days and I've kind of lived in that and celebrated it. And now I'm going to be open to receiving a relationship again because that's really important for what you need. Um, it's not saying that your confidence comes directly from being with somebody else because that would be unhealthy. But they're like, um, you know, this period of time where you have stagnation and you're not necessarily feeling enthused about moving forward and finding your forever person, um, that can't linger through the whole month. Because then you'll start to feel pretty negative, and towards the end of the month, you're gonna to start to feel crazy. Okay, so what is it that you need to do in order to get the end result that you want? Wow, that's a little confusing, but what they're saying is okay, in looking at the past and um, saying, okay, you know what? Some of these things that I'm holding on to weren't good for me. They were hopeless. Just got to get past it. Got to get over the X. Got to get 
past this way of thinking, got to do something new because what this wasn't working for me. And like maybe understanding that you've held on to those thought patterns for a while, um, mostly because there were things you didn't want to think about because they're hard to face, because they're difficult. Um, because in a certain way, like for some of you, that thought pattern you need to release is that life isn't fair. You know what? Things just don't work out for me. That's not fair. Um, they're like, <laughs> you know, and having to kind of take ownership of that and um, not feel upset about it is something that we've had a problem doing. So like once we kind of get past that and just like go out there and start talking to people, specifically communicating, not necessarily face to face, but via text message, dating apps, websites, Facebook, whatever, email, um, they're like, that's what's going to bring in your soulmate. So they could totally show up in the month of November, but it's just going to depend on how long you wait to go find them. You know, this month is about co-creation for you. So um, what is it that you need to release? That was already sort of answered, but let's see. And they're like, you know what, circumstances, you know, maybe you didn't feel before like you had enough time to commit to really looking for the right person in your life or... Um, you know, things like that. So they're like unfortunate circumstances in general, just release them, let them go, and then find your enthusiasm. Even if it takes you a little bit of time to work towards that, they're like, go out there and get it because there is very possibly, it's more of a probably, a probability, there's a huge probability that new, exciting, fun, passionate relationships can start for you that would have a lot of growth potential, possibly even a soulmate. So, hey, that's good news. Um, what's your overall lesson? We're going to switch decks here for that. Your overall lesson in regards to love in November for single Virgos is respect. I'm valuing everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. Um, and that would be your own, right? Because it brought you this far, but then also taking the time to challenge it and build new ones. Okay, so looking at coupled Virgos, what do we expect in November in regards to love in general? They're like feeling pretty content, feeling your feelings pretty... Um, Pretty deeply. You might also be a little bit selfish this month, and that's okay, um, especially in certain areas of your relationship. They're saying that you might not be manifesting much. You might not be putting tons of stuff out there for your hopes and dreams and wishes. You're kind of just like chained to the reality of this is like day-to-day -day life. Um, and they're like, it doesn't have to be that way, though. It really doesn't have to. So start manifesting what it is that you want. What should you keep doing in your relationship? And they say, um, keep being the decision maker, <laughs> probably because as a Virgo, you're a perfectionist and you don't make stupid decisions. So that there's that. <laughs> but they're also like, continue with your confidence, you know, trusting your own judgment. Like every once in a while, you might question it, but more often than not, you're going to be right. So um, that's important. It's... Is there a specific way you should be handling things like that if you are in disagreement with a partner and they say, don't go ahead and do things? You know, with that adage where it's like, it's easier to ask forgiveness than permission, in the month of November, that's not the case for you, Virgo, okay? Now, um, what is it that you need to stop doing in your relationship this month? And they say, <laughs> um, so... You might be trying to avoid drama and, you know, things like that and keeping the, you be, might be trying to keep the peace with people outside of your relationship by communicating, um, not in front of your partner. And they're like, but that's not fair because it's going to cause a rift with your partner, right? Like, why are you talking to them so much behind my back? Like, why are you always hiding these conversations? Why are you deleting your text messages? Hopefully they're not looking into your shit like that, but they might be. And um, it's going to be more suspicious, even if you're totally innocent, if you are hiding something, okay? Um, your general advice in the month of November with your partner is um, making slow progression towards like physical goals that you want to. So this would be a good month to start saving money, um, to start investing, to start home projects. Go with your gut instincts on this. But we've already kind of established that, that you're, you're mostly right this month. So is there anything in specific um, that you're learning this month in your relationship? And it's about opening your heart chakra. It says acceptance, that you're ready to release control of situations and people 
and accept them, right? And just let that natural flow of life kind of happen. So when you're making decisions, it needs to not be from a place of controlling another person's behaviors or their attitude, just things that affect physical reality, okay? Now, um, I feel like there's something else you might need to know in the month of November. And they just really, really want to, so this must be important for at least one person here. Um, they really, really want you to be clear and open about the communication that you're having. So there's that. Um, okay, so for those of you who are in between, maybe you're in an on-again, off-again relationship. Maybe it's not a uh, Facebook official. What do we got? Happily ever after might be with this specific person that you're already in contact with. You might not be feeling that to the fullest right now because of the unstable um, kind of energy of the relationship. You might feel like it's not moving forward, so that couldn't possibly be the case. But what do we have as far as advice on this? And kind of the same thing that coupled Virgos have. So, you know, if you're like casually dating somebody and you feel like, oh man, I really like this person, but I don't feel like I'm getting the same amount of feelings back from them. So I'm just going to talk to all these other people. Even though you're not official, it might be one of those months where you kind of want to like tone it down on your dating other people, even though you haven't decided you're in a committed relationship because that could come back to bite you later. Um, general advice in the month of November regarding love and they're talking about virtue here so your moral compass right and so you're going to acknowledge your loving and spiritual attributes that encourage other people to grow so kind of like leading by example so that is November love and light and see you in December bye